Hi, I'm Ida Christine, and I'm here to present the results of a systematic review of the medical use of smartwatches within nursing homes. This presentation is structured as follows. The European elderly population is increasing at a rapid rate, currently estimated to be 20% of the overall population, with an expected rise of 8% within 2050. With the aging population, a shifted lifestyle and several health needs follow due to non-communicable diseases. However, with the advancement of technology in recent years, a new area of preventative monitoring has been developed using smartwatches. Smartwatches and other types of wearable devices can be defined as a mobile electronic device that has adopted the technologies of sophisticated biosensors and wireless data communication which allows both the access and the transmission of data. Within healthcare, smartwatches can be used to perceive, record, and analyze to maintain the user's health. Four research questions, as well as four possible limitations within the studies were included, which are viewable within the presentation. The research questions are based on the literature used within the background, as well as the literature included within the study. This study was undertaken as a systematic literature review where the goal was to assess the difference between use and deployment of smartwatches between northern and southern European nursing homes. First, keywords relevant to the study were produced within inclusion and exclusion criteria. Then, the countries were also assigned to either northern or southern Europe. Five literature databases, Google Scholar and Semantic Scholar, was used to find the included literature where the search string seen within the presentation now was used across all platforms. Each publication was assessed using Kitchenham et al.'s guidelines, where six criteria were made based on the guidelines to properly assess the included literature before the filtering process. In addition to this, the average use of a smartwatch was tabulated, where a grading from 1 to 3 was given to each article. As seen within a table, 712 papers were screened for relevance across all databases, where 17 primary studies were added based on the full text. The average smartwatch use within a study was 2.4, and for the quality assessment, the average score for all articles were 4.53. Regarding research question 1, there are no found clinical trials within Europe on the medical use of smartwatches. Therefore, there is no reported difference. Other regions might have conducted clinical trials, so a second systematic review based on Canadian or American literature could be of interest. Between Northern and Southern Europe, there is a reported difference for the use of smartwatch. Northern Europe has both the highest average smartwatch use, 2.46, and the highest average quality of 5, whereas uh, Southern Europe has an average smartwatch use of 2.25, an average quality of 4.2. While Southern Europe still has a good score, the average is dragged down drastically due to two articles being rated drastically lower than the rest. There's also a difference in the use between the regions, which could be due to the difference in climate and different assessed needs amongst the population. For the benefits of using the smartwatch as a medical device, there is no reported difference. Both regions have studies that show the great potential for such technology within healthcare. Both regions also show the potential empowerment others have by keeping up with technology, as well as being able to feel more independent within their day-to-day -day lives. One of the concerns was the limited amount of clinical trials, where as mentioned before, no clinical trials were retrieved within the study. The addition of clinical trials would strengthen the results of the study due to this type of study being the primary way to evaluate the effects and the benefits of a new medical device. Another concern was a lack of longitudinal studies to show the long-term effects of the use of a smartwatch. However, two longitudinal studies were actually added to the systematic review, where one describes the use of a smartwatch for full risk assessment and the other for the general learning time and initial experiences with smartwatches amongst the elderly. The results of both longitudinal studies show positive results within their respective studies, which is strengthening the results of the included experimental studies. The security and privacy for the patients were a concern as well, 
where it is shown with inequality assessment that this has not been a priority for most of the articles, with the discussion of privacy averaging about 0 0.35 out of 1. Some of the studies have mentioned that security will be a part of their future research. However, in today's age, security should definitely be one of the priorities based on the guidelines for GDPR and the results produced by Crabtree et al. For the difference in quality between articles published before and after 2015, the difference is not big enough to be counted as a reported difference. To conclude, the systematic review had 17 primary studies included, where 7 of the studies were conducted in Northern Europe and 10 were conducted within Southern Europe. Within the study, there is a reported difference in both the quality and average smartwatch use between Northern and Southern Europe, where the difference in assessed need is also discovered between the regions. However, both regions show the potential of using a smartwatch as a medical device, with positive feedback from both the nurses and patients. There is a small difference between articles published before and after 2015, However, it is so small that there is no reported difference to actually be mentioned. For future work, it would be interesting to perform a, a multivocal literature review with the addition of other countries, as this paper presents very few results, which could definitely skew the proposed outcome. By gathering more publications, clinical studies might be added to the study to strengthen the results as well. It would also be interesting to compare the use of a smartwatch with other means of wearable devices within the healthcare industry to properly assess the effectiveness of the smartwatch.